The reason why we like honor, I believe number one is fatherless homes. You know, fathers in a home make a difference. They teach and they demand respect in a home. I mean, mothers do it too, but there's something about the presence of a father that even when, you know, mom's doing her best, when there's a dad present, mom knows that she can always rely on dad to, to bring up, you know, the rear. You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes when the kid's out of control and mom just, she just had enough, she didn't know what to do. She, you know what she's going to say? Wait till your father comes home. So father's just got to make sure when you come home, you do what she expects you to do. Well, she will say that because a father demands and teaches respect in the home. That's how I raised my kids. I raised my kids because I grew up that way. And I taught my kids, your older sister, Tennille, next to your mom, she's next in charge in this house. You got to raise five kids. When you got to raise five kids, you better have some ground rules in place. So Tennille, the older one, the older them had to respect her. And it, it was helpful because there were times when we wanted to go out and chill out go see a movie or go out to dinner or something, and Tennille was old enough to rule the roost until we got back. How many of you know that we didn't have no problems? <laughs> no problems in the house. Because if you don't listen to her, you know what she's going to say? Wait till daddy gets home. <laughs> and you know, my kids grew up like that. Now my kids get along. They love one another. It's a great relationship. But you, you, if you watch my kids together, Tennille is still the boss of my kids. <laughs> Because we put that in them. I said, that's your older sister. She got a couple of years on you, and you need to respect her. Because I knew that with that in place, conflicts in the home would be very easy to solve. When big sister ruled on something, her word's going to carry more weight than all five of them. Now, she could use that power wrongly, but amen, we trust that she did not. <laughs> Although I've heard stories later on, but... But we, we, fatherless homes is one of the reasons why there is no honor in people. Insecurity is another one. Some people feel that to honor another person diminishes them. Some people feel that to, uh, to give someone a title that they rightfully deserve somehow makes them smaller. Now listen very carefully. And we might say, I'm not into titles, but think about it. Titles have a purpose in life, do they not? A police officer. And I don't care if I know your name. If, if, if I get stopped by a police officer, I'll refer to him as officer. Because we ain't boys. We ain't hanging out together. We ain't kicking it together. He's a, a minister of justice on behalf of the Lord. He's there to keep the law. So I'm, I'm not going to be, you know, trying to equalize with him. I, I know that as a man, I'm equal to any man. But in his capacity as a public servant, we're not equals now. Are you with me, somebody? Fundamental things. But some people believe that to refer to someone by a title, pastor, bishop, well, who does he think he is? Bishop. <laughs> do you call your doctor Frank? Or do you say Dr. Frank? Now, see, when I was growing up, you didn't, you didn't call the teacher by their name. Rose... Uh oh, I'm sorry. Miss Rose, before you corrected yourself, something would come upside your head. You, you did not play around because now you all think this is extreme. But I'm trying to tell you, when it comes to honor, you've got to go to extremes to make sure that that principle is in, instilled deeply inside of your heart because it will solve a lot of problems and make life easier for you as you get older. Are you with me? Third reason why honor is, there's a bankruptcy of honor, is because there are no biblical foundations in people's lives. Regardless of what type of home you grew up in, when you join the family of God, you begin to learn the importance of honor. But those who reject God's word, if you grew up in a home where there was no honor, there's no place else in society other than in the armed forces where you're going to learn honor. I suggest to some of you young people that you got off on the wrong foot and you feel like you're heading in the wrong direction, sign up. You'll come home an officer and a, a gentleman because that is the only other institution besides the church that teaches honor. Oh yeah, they're teaching to the gangs too, but that's a whole different story. And there's something fundamentally in us that wants honor. We want to be around 
people or within a system or within a culture where there's honor. We see the safety and the beauty that it offers us, but we just don't know how to cultivate it.